Hello everyone, welcome to Fatma Graphics. I hope you are fine. Today we are going to design this image slideshow in Adobe After Effects. So let's get started. Firstly, create a new composition of 1920 by 1080 pixels with 10 second duration and click OK. Now we will create a solid background. So right click here in the timeline, go to new and select solid. Dimension is same and add the color in it, any one that you like. Now we have to import some images so double click in the project panel. I have downloaded these images from Pixabay. Import these images. Now I am adding text here for intro. So you can add any text related to the topic. I am typing Fatma graphics. Increase its size and set it in the center with the help of the align tool. We will apply opacity transition on this text. Select this text layer from the timeline and press T from the keyboard and opacity property will be open. Add a keyframe by clicking on this stopwatch icon. Decrease its value to 0. Now go to around 1 second forward and set the value to 100%. You can see the result of opacity. It is looking perfect. Now press this arrow to hide the property. Now it's time to import our first image into the timeline. So hold the image and drag it like this in the timeline on the top of the all layers. So you can see it is hiding our text. So hold it and drag it a little bit forward around 2 seconds. So it will uh, show on after our text revealing. Now I want that it should come in the screen. Uh, from the right side. To do this we will animate it with the position property. Firstly adjust it in the center and now go to the image layer and press P. The position property will be open. Now drag the image to the right side of the screen like this. Now add a keyframe here. Move the playhead around one second forward and bring back the image into the window like this. You can do it from the X or Y value. Or you can do it by holding and dragging the image manually. You can see it's uh, looking nice. Select both of the keyframe and right click on any one. Go to the keyframe assistant and select the easy ease option. Click on this graph editor icon. Uh, this graph will be show on. If not, click on this little graph icon and choose the edit speed graph option. It will look like this. Select the second keyframe and hold it and drag it like this. Now you can see the difference with easy ease. It's quite slow now. You can decrease the gap between the two keyframes. By decreasing the gap between these two keyframes, it will play fast. It's looking perfect now. Now we have to add the second image. Hold and drag it. Take this image around 4 seconds and it will appear from here. Now this image will come in the center from the left side. We will animate position property again. So add a keyframe here. Now move the keyframe on 5 seconds. On 5 seconds the image will be here in the center. Drag the image to the left side. A keyframe will be added automatically. Play it again. We will easy ease these both keyframes. By doing easy ease, it will change the movement of the image, like it will come faster but it will stop slowly. And it will give a nice effect to the transition. Play the animation. If you want to speed up the animation, decrease the gap of the keyframes. Now next point is very important that if you see here, uh, this image is coming like a solid line, but when the object moves, there will be a blurriness around the edges. So here is the option to turn on its motion blur. Click on this icon, play it, it is looking more awesome by turning it on. Now if you want uh, that another image should come from the top, the method will be same as we did before. Drag the image into the timeline, place it where you like that it should come. Move the playhead uh, around 1 second forward. Open the position property. Add a keyframe here. So the image will be here in the center on 6 seconds. Move the playhead to 5 seconds. Drag the image to the top like this. So it will be here on 5 seconds. 
Uh, select both of the keyframes, uh, right click on it, select the keyframe assistant. Now go to graph editor and edit the speed graph like this. Go back to the timeline by clicking on the graph editor again. Turn on the motion blur. Now add the fourth and the last image here in the timeline. Now this image will come from the bottom. Place it on the top. Open position property by pressing P from the keyboard. Add a keyframe here. Move the keyframe a one second forward. Drag the image to the bottom. The next keyframe will be added where your playhead will be. Select the keyframes. Right click on it. Select keyframe assistant. Go to the easy ease. I think this option must be well remembered to all of you. Anyway, go to the graph editor and edit your graph like this. You can set the animation fast and slow according to your mood. Or you can even adjust it according to the background music beat. Now how can you turn off all the keyframes of the layers? Select any layer, then press Ctrl plus A for selecting all. And then press U from the keyboard. This is the short key. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. See you in the next video. Thank you.